Good afternoon folks. I'm over in Hagley at the moment at uh, the parish church of St John the Baptist at Hagley and uh, yeah beautiful church beautiful setting but I'm not here to look at churches <laughs> you probably guessed that already I'm actually here to have a look at uh, and introduce you to the new uh, addition to the collection and Stan the Scram's replacement the Royal Enfield Gorilla 450 and uh, yeah delivered this morning just after nine from QB Motorcycles um, highly recommend QB Motorcycles Andy the sales uh, manager there fantastic service uh, if you're interested in the Royal Enfield go and see them they, I've had three Royal Enfields from them so far uh, and they've, been, they've all been great service so um, yeah highly recommended um, yeah so this is the new edition I've been looking forward to having it um, and to me it ticks so many boxes I've just been riding it and I've started to build a feel for it and it's all positive um, so we'll have a little talk about um, my first experiences when we jump back on the bike in a little while and have a carry on doing a ride about 10 miles so far from home to here um, yeah and it's just the fit and finish is superb um, if you're interested in a review because I'm, I'm, I'm this is not I'm not one for reviews and specs if you want to have a look at um, Ian Hughes and I'll leave a link for anybody who doesn't know about Ian Hughes um, go and have a look at uh, at the video that Ian's done of his test ride and he's uh, and he's looking around the bike and you'll you'll get a really good thorough and well informed review from Ian. So that's the person you want to see if you want to review. And he's doing a he did a test ride as well, which was uh, it's excellent. So go and have a look. Um, but yeah, I think it's absolutely lovely styling um, it's, it's the fit and finish is pretty damn good um, 5050 on the road is uh, is just bonkers I think for a bike of this quality as I say we'll have a chat in a bit about the riding experience now bear in mind I'm running it in so I'm limited to below 4,000 revs and uh, yeah I'll tell you what I've, what I've been thinking while I was riding it over here but uh, yeah I uh, really pleased with this purchase first ride out just getting a feel for it getting used to it thought I'd show, share it with you uh, there he is and uh, yeah can't really see the dash very well because of the light I've got it on dark mode but great dash and I'm uh, having a bit of a play around with the settings on that later so um, there you go the uh, the new brand new Royal Enfield Gorilla 450 in um, yellow ribbon is the colour scheme so So there you go that's the uh, introduction to the bike um i think we're gonna have loads of adventures together similar to what i had with the uh, standard gram uh i'm not missing standard gram anymore he's only been gone 24 hours and this is uh this is so good that uh, i'm already forgotten about him but he did enjoy owning that bike and uh would recommend to anyone uh, they are a quality bike to consider if you uh, if you want a basic bike so I'll see you back shortly when we're uh, we're on the road
folks come and join me for a ride and I'll tell you what I think Ooh. I'm uh, still not flat footed but I'm on the balls of my feet which is, uh, which is all right. There we go. 14 miles so far, so 11 miles of those are mine. Beautiful. Stand up. Interesting you've got the uh, stand down warning that I'll fail to notice anyway. <laughs> so there you go. Mickey Mouse mirrors, not sure whether I probably will. I need to adjust them. I think I can get a better view with a slight adjustment. But um, I'm, I do like bar end mirrors, so we may well end up with bar end mirrors. So let's go and have a look. So, just leaving uh, this lovely place. Let's have a little spin round. Yeah, Hagley. St John the Baptist Hagley. I do like a nice architectural church, and that's a lovely church. So no particular place to go. I'm going to follow me nose. There's Hagley Hall. Hagley Hall. I'm going to follow me nose and tell you my thoughts. Now, first gear very short, really short. Just all its only purpose it really serves is to get you moving. Um, speed bumps down here so I'll just take it easy through here. Oof. The seat is really comfortable as others have said uh, you could do a lot of miles on this seat it's, uh, it's very plush. Uh, owner's manual said keep below 4,000 revs for uh, the first 310 miles uh, which is ain't going to take long to get those on here. Um, and uh, yeah, must be trying to thought. Sorry. Uh, and it does. It wants to go. You're not going to be going climbing up the gearbox if you're just doing 30 miles an hour. You're probably going to get to fourth, and that's going to be about it. Because it, what I find it is and I'll show you in a minute, if you, if you try to change up and you're not going fast enough, you'll struggle. You won't like it. When I say struggle, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's forcing you to change down, really. It's, uh, so, yeah. I think the, it's, it's, as you'll probably see shortly, it's pushing you on just to get a speed up in the gears. There we go. Uh, but it's so smooth. You, you, the gear change where you could clunk to the gear on the scram it's, it's, there's no perceptible feel that the gears changed it's buttery smooth which is lovely clutch uh, hopefully they'll do, we can get Hitchcock's will do some shorty grips uh, shorty levers because my fingers aren't I've not got long fingers uh, and it's a fair and I'll, it's a fair old reach, so hopefully shorty grips, shorty shorty levers will come, and uh, if they do, I'll be putting some of them on. Um, it's lovely. Riding position is is lovely. Uh, here, if I lean slightly, I'm flat foot. I can't flat foot both feet, but with a slight bit of lean, I can get flat foot. But balls of both feet, easy. I'm five foot, just under five foot eight, with a 29-inch inside leg. 
So uh, no trouble with that. As you can see, get out of first gear and then it's uh, it, it's it wants to go. I don't I think I'll have this running in less than uh, potentially less than a week. <laughs> well, I'll have the uh, first service done, I should say, in less than a week. Well, we're ready for first service in less than a week. Um, the fifth gear is just. You know that it, it's just wanting you to wind the power on. Uh, but so I'm, I'm limited to 4,000 revs. Water? No, water yet? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's. Uh, I like these sturdy, sturdy mirror stalks, if you like. Uh, it feels sturdy it looks sturdy feels sturdy it's very solid very solid the smooth the, the, although the clutch lever is a bit of a stretch for me it's 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 a very uh relaxed it's not a it's not a it's not a hard clutch it's a soft clutch uh it's just stretch for me i'm the uh, I'm, I'm uh, challenged in length in a number of factors, fingers and legs being two of them. We'll leave that there. And you see there, fourth gear is no good at this speed. So your speed is determined, it's, it's, it's not like trying to, where can I compare it to, my speed twin, where you've got it, you've got torque in all the gears. But, yeah, you can, yeah, that's the best way I can try and describe it. I'm not describing it very well. Uh, it never, it's not struggling, it just doesn't want to be in that gear. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. It wants to be in a lower gear. Uh, dropping it into six now overdrive at 45 miles an hour, that's just lovely. You know that this has got bags and bags of power and ready to just ready to go. But uh, so I'm holding it. I'm, I'm having to hold it back to, the, to do the running in. So uh, yeah, we'll just ride and I'll chat about things as uh, as we work our way through. Vibes, not feeling any vibes at the speeds I'm doing. All I'm, all I'm getting is that if I'm if I'm in too high a gear, it, yeah, I'm getting the uh, it's telling me knock me down a gear. So if I drop down here, but see, you've got to come down the box. You can't stay up there. You'll, you've got to come down the box. So it's definitely uh, what I call what call a rider's bike. It's not going to do. To work for you in say the way that my speed twin does where it's just put it in gear and it will just ride and it will cope with anything uh, this is this is a rider's bike you've got to you've, you've got to know uh, what it's telling you to do and what you what you want it to do and I've got to get used to that now uh, yeah Rider's bike is the best way I can describe it. In many, in a similar way, in a less powerful way, that the Hunter's a rider's bike. This has got all the power and will do anything pretty much that you want it to do. But you've got to, you've got to uh, play the tune on it if you like. You've got to use the gears uh, at the to relating to the revs and the speed, whereas. Uh, on the Hunter, is uh, you, you know that gets similar. That will pull in most gears. If, hopefully, I hope some of this stuff's making sense. It's just me trying to put my perspective, my perception into words, which is not not always easy. Uh, but this is just lovely. It's just lovely. Get that into sixth gear. Three and a half thousand revs, 45 miles an hour, effortless. 
effortless. I really, really like this bike. I knew I was making the right decision. Uh, I think it's going to tick so many boxes for so many people. What am I going to use this for? I may tour on it. I may well tour on it. Uh, and I'll be doing my uh, evenings and Sunday ride outs. Stuff on it like that. Um, would it make me not want to keep the Hunter? No. It wouldn't. Oh, the Hunter's a keeper. Uh, I'm aware of its limitations. I accept its limitations and I like its limitations. So uh, the Hunter's going nowhere. <laughs> this will sit nicely alongside the Hunter in the collection. Got the CCM, got this, uh, and I've got the uh, Speed Twin for as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite happy with my uh, range now. Uh, it's uh, You can't compare it to the Scram. There's no way I could make a comparison. They are completely different bikes in every possible way. Uh, so this is not a more powerful Scram. It's 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 just different in all ma in all aspects. To be fair, I look I, I do like the sound of the uh, the intake. So at the moment, it's not a lot I can do because of the uh, my four thousand revs limit I've got. But wowza! Just pass, pop to Harvington Hall. Here's a place I like to come and take a picture of the bikes, but uh, I knew it would be uh, till it's closed at four o'clock. I knew it would be a bit uh, there'd be cars parked outside. Really, what I'm trying to say. So I just, I yeah. Uh, Royal Enfield just seem to, uh, they, they just, they cannot go wrong at the moment. Uh, to be honest, this is uh, not something I'm used to with the bikes I've had recently. So that's quite interesting in that respect is that I've got a bike that, you know, it's, uh, it has, you've got to get, you've got to get used to that's very short. You've got to get used to the uh, how it wants to play. Now, you just, you just, what this would just wind away if I let it. You know, it'd come out of there at a fair old rate of knots if I'd wanted to. Uh, it's, you know, it's there. I know it's there. I'm not using it at the moment because I can't, but I know it's there. I can't think of a bike that I've ever had or ridden to compare it with, to be honest. It's very much its own... Uh, its own entity. I think if you'd just pass your test and you'd come to this, you would end up with uh, a massive smile on your face. Uh, knowing what its capabilities are. This bike wants to take you for some fun. It's, uh, I, yeah, I just know that when I've got the first service done and I can go up to 6,000 revs. This is just going to be oh, it's just immense fun. Am I happy? Oh yes I am. Did I do the right thing? Yes I did. I'll be amazed at anybody that doesn't uh, 
find these to be an absolutely awesome bike. I love the colour. Never owned a yellow bike. Got a yellow helmet, open face. Not open face. Uh, it's got no visor, so you have to wear uh, you wear goggles with it. So, and it's a uh, more brighter lemon than this. Oh man, this is going to be so good. It feels really planted. Really, really planted. Honestly, can't believe how good it is. I don't. So I don't do my bike reviews. I'm not. I'm no good at them. All I can do is tell you how I feel about it. You want my bike reviews? There's plenty of people who do them for you. But I just like to ride them and I like to tell you about how to make, uh, you know, the experience of it. Uh, but this is something else really. Suspension doesn't feel hard at all. I haven't had a look what the... Uh, the suspension is set at because we've only got adjustment on the rear. Absolutely incredible. I love it. I love it. I need to see, I think you can brighten the screen. I have noticed that uh, the indicator arrows on the screen are quite dull and uh, as you all know I'm prone to forget to turn the indicators off so I do need to uh, see if I can brighten the screen up a little bit Yeah, I'm not, I'm not minding these mirrors, I think with a slight adjustment on them, which I'm going to do when I get home, I think they'll be uh, perfectly adequate. I'm going to just have to then see what, uh, what if any bar in, aftermarket bar in mirrors come out, because I, uh, I, I do like bar in mirrors. The seat is exceptionally comfortable. I th I'm going to, so far as to say, at the moment, it feels like one of the most comfortable seats I've ever, ever had on a bike, to be honest. Now I'm starting to get used to what gears I need now. So, that's, so that was a lot better then. I'm, I'm beginning to, uh, yeah. Don't think I'm going to be putting a top box on this bike or a rack because I just don't think it will. Uh, this, this one is a bit more about the aesthetics, I think, than than the scram was. So I'm going to have to get used to carrying some stuff on my back, but that's not too bad because my little backpack that I've got, my sh uh, sort of shoulder bag, one strap with a waist strap is sat on the seat behind me so I've not got any weight on my back so I think that's going to be uh, that's going to be good so I'm going to go up through Romsley and I'll summarise my first ride for you uh, I've only done what 27 miles so far about uh, 35, 40, uh, it's just brilliant. I'm in love with this bike already. Uh, it's going to be uh, m masses of fun. To me, this is going to come into its element for me when I want to be doing a little bit of... Uh, 
uh, spirited riding. I don't want to do it that often, to be honest. But sometimes you just you just want that little bit of spirited riding. Not, not nothing illegal, but you know, just uh, just riding those lanes. And uh, I think for those purposes, it's going to be brilliant. I think this is once once I can uh, let's be service, and I've got the extra two thousand revs. You're going to be you're going to be up that in that five six thousand revs all the time. Because every time I to keep it below four. Every time I drop it, it, it doesn't like it. It doesn't want to be there. It wants to be, wants to be uh, flying away. It's not in. He's not in a happy place. I can tell. The engine note and the and the, and the vibration. It's not a happy place for it. So this is. Uh, this probably give you an idea of what a, what it feels like to be. Uh, to ride during the running in process uh, and I think a lot of the people that have done have probably done uh, uh, reviews have, have done it on bikes that are running so they can they can play with those extra revs uh, this this bike wants to be in those rev range it wants to be in that rev range uh, I am a very happy bunny with this bike I, uh, I fortunately the uh, the timing's right, so hopefully going to get a good few opportunities to ride it uh, before we run out of decent weather completely. Uh, interested to know what's under there. I'm probably going to have a look there. Here's the little USB that everybody mentions. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little bit of a video of me introducing you to the Gorilla, the Royal Enfield Gorilla 450. Uh, trying to think of a fitting name for it. Uh, I had thought of Tarzan, but that's, uh, but that's the wrong. It's not. The, it's not the same type of gorilla. I know. That's not. A, it's not named after the animal gorilla. Uh, so, uh, he won't be being called Tarzan. Uh, I wish we spit of rain. Uh, doing the right thing at home, don't want to be out in the rain. Um, so, any, uh, any suggestions for names, please drop them in the comments. Give me some inspiration if you wouldn't mind. Uh, as we got Pocket Rocket, we got uh, the Hunter, we got the Jaffa uh, for the Speed Twin. Uh, CCM don't really have a name. I was going to call him Douglas after Douglas Barder because he's a switch player. But uh, I never got round to it, never, never really uh, settled on one. But a, a name for this. Like right, would be uh, a fitting name, a fitting name. So uh, there you go. I say I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you're thinking of buying one and what the experience of running in is going to be like, you're going to be uh, doing a lot of changing down. <laughs> is the best I could say. Uh, is advice I can give you for running in. That's poor old street bike. Look at uh, yeah. Yeah, sad to see that come. Um, anyway, it was what it was on. Uh, yeah, I, I was giving you a feel for the running in. Had a look round the bike. I haven't told you anything useful because I'm no good at doing reviews and I'm not going to start doing them because I'm crappy. So, um, well, hopefully there's something there that might have piqued your interest. And. Uh, If you have liked the video, uh, and you would be um, so kind, it'd be really appreciated if you would uh, consider subscribing. And uh, 
and leaving a like would be really uh, a like. I don't know why I say like. Leaving a thumbs up would be uh, absolutely spiffing. So the next time I see you is going to be on another Wales video because I've got, still got plenty of them to do and I've got a load of Norfolk videos I haven't even started on uh, and I've got a, a how-to video how to fit uh, pannier rails on a speed twin Motown pannier rails uh, so I've got loads of videos never had so many videos and I've got all the island ones so lots of videos coming and they won't be coming in any particular sequence now the only ones that are likely to come in any sequence are evening ride outs and stuff like that where I'm uh, all ride outs like this oh I need you running baby so on that note I shall bid you farewell so thanks for watching uh, please take care of yourselves and uh, I hope to see you again soon on another video uh, so I shall say to the heart of it for now if you're still watching have a look at this in front is that a Ford it's a Ford Cortina isn't it it's a Mark 1 Ford Cortina now ain't that a treat to finish off the video and just, oh, smells like a proper car well that is a lovely thing to see is that a real dog just got it i don't know is that a real dog no that can't be a real dog no it ain't, it ain't a real dog <laughs> Why am I even thinking it's a real dog? But oh, powder blue, Ford Cortina, K Reg, Mark One. I'm sure it's a Cortina. Now that's a treat. That's a treat. We're going to be turning left here now, so. Uh, Bye bye Cortina, lovely to see you, uh, and I'll try again, uh, I'm glad I didn't turn the camera off then, so uh, yeah, I'll try again, thanks for watching, see you soon, and to ride a bit.